What? You know what? Lori Wagner told me. You people know don't want to be seeing Corey every vlog. Why are you talking vlog? up there? The camera's right there. <laughs> oh, people don't want to be seeing him every vlog. Well, then what are you? Why aren't you talk? Uh, no. Oh. I'll do your hand. Hi, I'm an Stephanie Phelan. <laughs> Welcome to back. Good Day Sacramento. I'm put, Stephanie Phelan. Shut up. Put your hands back. Back to you live. Put your hands back. 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 Put your hands your hands back. your Okay, so what I want to talk about today. We're is talking about hand repair. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking. <laughs> you got something in my mouth. <laughs> Go get your dick. Get out of here. Okay. Hey guys, Coach Corey here. Talking today about hand care. Um, I know that it's getting colder outside. It's going to be a little bit harder to grip the bar, or you're just going to not want to. But um, a lot of things start to happen uh, in the cold air as we transition through the winter that. Um, start to take effect on your calluses, right? So um, what will happen is your hands are going to be a lot drier for one, right? So when you start to sweat, your calluses are going to be really dry and ready to break. So as you are sweating and you're putting chalk and more chalk and more chalk on your hands, it's not necessarily helping you in the long run, right? Because if you're drying your hands out more than they already are, then your calluses are going to tear earlier, right? So remember, that it's a balance. You still want to, when you go home or when you're out and about, keep your hands moisturized uh, so that way when you come into the gym, your hands don't tear on the bars, right? Um, in the colder months, what we normally do is we stay uh, consistent in doing smaller sets of pull-ups so that if we're uh, at the point where we're about to break, right, or we're, we're going to tear, we know that our calluses are getting uh, mismanaged and we haven't really taken care of our hands, then we can... Uh, break up the set smaller in the pull-ups. That way we're not spending so much time on the bar, um, as well as watching the position of our grip, right? When we jump up on the pull-up bar, um, some people, when they're afraid of breaking their calluses, they're grabbing like fingertips only, right? Which uh, really doesn't end up being good for you. Um, but then you also don't wanna bury these calluses on the bar, right? So the, especially the top ones, everyone tears here in the, the top, those are the calluses that you really want to be cautious of where you're gripping the bar. So the bar shouldn't, the bar shouldn't be at your fingertips and also shouldn't be in the uh, bottom of your palm, right? You shouldn't be wrapping the bar over this way. It should be right in the middle here of that grip, right? Right where the palm and the fingertips meet. That's where your bar should be. And you can kind of feel that comfortably when you feel your calluses resting on the bar instead of your uh, the bar resting underneath your calluses. Um, but Good news is if you do tear, which you probably will, if you have it, you will. So um, I would just mentally prepare yourself to do that. Um, there's going to be uh, some steps you should take if that happens, right? Um, my immediate instinct is as soon as the workout is over, if I've torn, right? You've been, you probably tore, you know, five minutes before the workout was over and you still had to use your hand to do a bunch of other things. Um, your journal is going. So, you know, just clap your hands together. Um, and go into the bathroom and scrub your hands. You know, I know it's it's kind of like a misconcept to people, but they like wait and they like show everybody their hands and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm bleeding so bad. And then their, their adrenaline goes away and then they have to go stick their hand underneath the water and then you hear loud screams and scare everybody else away um, when you do that. So as soon as the workout's over, go wash your hands, scrub them, right? The second thing is make sure that you disinfect them. I know that our gym is fairly clean, right? It's And we scrub everything down, we keep everything disinfected, but uh, you still have an open wound, right? And it's just like if you fell in the on the curb at your house or inside your own home, right? You still want to put something to disinfect it on there. So um, peroxide is good. Um, and it comes in a huge abundance. You can buy it for like a dollar and you can just pour it on your hand. That's a good one. Um, Neosporin is a great one. Um, I'm a huge fan of leaving that dead excess skin on the hand, tucking some Neosporin in there and closing that piece of skin down on it so my hand has a chance to heal and I'm not really exposing that brand new skin out to something that it doesn't really want to touch, right? Because you're gonna want to touch other things and if it comes to a point where you're touching hot things or you're, you're grabbing something that's maybe like uh, strenuous on your grip, you're gonna tear that new skin open. So try and keep that old skin that you had 
put that Neosporin under there, close that down, right? Um, we have a couple of things here at the gym that we sell. Um, I personally love this one the most, um, just because it seems to help stop the bleeding really fast. Um, and it's all natural, right? So it's it's super simple to put on. It's in a spray, um, and it doesn't sting as bad as peroxide does. So this is the wad elixir, that's cool. This is the first time I ever used this. This is a wad repair stick. This is the maintenance stick. This thing is amazing. Um, I put this on my calluses before, and I just like, you know, I just glob it on like it's like, you know, I'm a female doing lip balm, right? I just go around and around and around and around and around and around. And, around. and you leave it on there, and it's like, it's really, your hand's super moist, right? Am I allowed to say moist? Um, your hands moist and um, you just let it dry right you let it sit on there you let your hands dry and the first time I ever used this uh, Steph actually gave this to me and I put it on my my uh, calluses and I had tore in like four spots I put it on my calluses before um, I went into the pizza parlor oops uh, that we weren't eating at and uh, I put it on my hands <laughs> and uh, I went in and by the time that we got inside like houses were like almost healed. Like there was like a new piece of skin on my tears and it was like a new piece of, uh, there was like new hands almost, except for I still had the injuries obviously, but my calluses were softened. It was actually really cool. So this is an awesome one. Um, all three of these things come in this uh, little wad repair lotion kit. This is the, um, the full thing, the essentials kit. Um, if you're cool with shaving your calluses, that's cool too. I never really figured that out entirely. So. Um, I, would, I would say less is more, you know, take small shavings down um, and make sure that your hands are soft. So you're like gonna run them under uh, warm water for a long period of time or do it in the shower, right? When, you're, um, when your calluses are soft, then scrape those calluses off. Uh, most of the time, some nail clippers, some trimmers will work the same way. Just cut the calluses down. Just make sure you don't leave a big divot in your hand because then that will tear as well. So um, I hope that this helps some of you. Um, and those of you guys that are new to doing CrossFit, uh, be mentally prepared that you will tear. Just know that there are some steps you can take to help fix your hands. Good luck out there, guys.